Yo, what's up guys? Era here. Welcome back to a new video, baby. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you're new to my channel, guys. And today I'll be talking about Joshua, uh, Andy Ruiz Joshua too. So it's gonna be a good fight, guys. We're almost three days out from the fight. Um, I've seen both guys. Both guys are looking slimmer. I've seen Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is looking smaller, you know. He'll be looking to box. I think this time Joshua will be trying to go the distance, the full 12 rounds, so he can get the, his belts back from Andy Ruiz Jr. Andy Ruiz Jr. will be trying to knock him out as well. So, yeah, man, it's gonna be a very good fight, man. I mean, Andy Ruiz Jr. started boxing when he was like six or seven years old. He's like 30 now. So, and he's also got a big um, amateur background, you know, he's did like 300 amateur fights before, you know, and he's won like 95% of them, you know. Joshua came into boxing late. Joshua came in when he was like 19, 20, you know. <clears throat> but Joshua did win the Olympic gold medal, you know. And so, yeah, he's got good, um, Joshua is very, he's a very strong guy, you know. He's got a good eight pack, you know, he's got good fundamentals, good balancing. So, this time around, I think Joshua will be trying to box Andy Ruiz Jr. the whole distance, but uh, <clears throat> again, Joshua is a warrior. He would want to knock him out because if you look at Joshua's resume before, it was like 95% knockout ratio. He's knocked out everyone except Joseph Parker, and Joseph Parker was the only guy to ever be Andy Ruiz Jr. So yeah, man, I reckon Joshua should have um, asked Joseph Parker to come in, help him with some sparring, help him like with some information. You know, like he should have combined his team with um with Joseph Parker to try and help him to beat Andy Ruiz because after all, Joseph Parker was the only guy to beat Andy Ruiz Jr. But I think <clears throat> even when we look at the scorecards against Joseph Parker and Andy Ruiz Jr., Andy Ruiz is very, very quick in the first four rounds or three rounds because on all the judges' scorecards, Andy Ruiz, when he was fighting Joseph Parker, he was winning the first three rounds. So I think if Joshua is gonna knock Andy Ruiz out, he's gonna have to take it slow because when you watch his last fight on um when he fought in Madison Square Garden in the third round when he put Andy Ruiz Jr. down, I don't think uh, Andy Ruiz was hurt. I think it was more like a flash knockdown, you know, like just the power, like he wasn't hurt, he just went down because it was a flash knockdown, you know. It's not like because you could see when he got up, man, he put his hands up and he was still relaxed, he was still calm, collective, he wasn't hurt, he wasn't panicking. And then when Joshua came in for the kill, he got him with the right hand and Andy Ruiz was like, come on then. And then Joshua tried again, he got him with another one, then he got him with the left hook, and then Andy Ruiz Jr. was beating he's trying to see what type, what type of shorts he's trying to put in there and then he just threw it like he's, he like threw a left hook and the guy just on the equilibrium there like he lost his balance and then everything from there just went downhill but it was interesting the way he threw it it was like the Joe Fraser type of hook you know he went down and then he springed up and then he got Joshua on the top of the dome man and that is what that's what that's what messed up Joshua after that Joshua could not recover man so this time around I hope Joshua comes in more disciplined and more focused you know <clears throat> I think the reason why Joshua lost the last time you know he was um was getting was getting carried away from the crowd you know because the crowd like you could just tell like he wasn't used to it you know I'm not trying to make excuses for Joshua but I know this time around Joshua is in Saudi Arabia it's in the desert so it's, it's not like really home but it's kind of home you know it's, it's, it's more closer to the night to <clears throat> it's more closer to the United Kingdom you know so it's good man and I've seen Andy Ruiz Jr. as well he's like He's from Mexico, like near the desert, so he's used to training in the desert. But um, it's gonna be really interesting, guys. And also the undercard, I'm so excited. There's gonna be Michael Hunter fighting there, fighting Alexander Povetkin, and he plans to stop Povetkin. And we all know Alexander Povetkin is 40 years old, but Alexander Povetkin is an Olympic gold medalist as well. He's a very, very good fighter. He's only lost, <clears throat> he's only, he's only lost twice. He's only lost to Vladimir Klitschko and Anthony Joshua, and he's only been knocked out once by Anthony Joshua. Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir couldn't knock him out guys because this guy was so tough he knocked him down like 10 times in the fight But he couldn't finish him the only person to ever finish him was Anthony Joshua So it's kind of surprising because Alexander Povetkin is the same height the same stature as Andy Ruiz jr But I don't know why Joshua couldn't finish Ruiz But I think it's because Joshua tried to rush in too quickly to finish Andy Ruiz jr guys and also <clears throat> There'll be Dillian, the body snatcher, white right there on the undercard. I saw Dillian. So that's gonna make it out an exciting, exciting undercard guy. I wish I had the money I could fly and go watch the fight live, man, because this is gonna be a world class. There's gonna be Dillian White. 
there's gonna be Anthony Joshua, Andy Ruiz, like Andy Ruiz is the current unified heavyweight champion, and then Anthony Joshua is the former unified heavyweight champion, and then Dylan White is the WBC interim champion, and Deontay Wilder doesn't wanna fight Dylan White because of his left hook. We all know this. I'm, I'm just so happy, guys, to watch this fight, guys. And if you're excited as well, please, guys, hit that like button, guys, and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you're new, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. I'm just so excited. Please leave your comments. Who do you think is gonna win the rematch? Do you think Anthony Joshua is gonna knock out Andy Ruiz Jr. or he's gonna win on points? Or do you think Andy Ruiz Jr. is gonna knock out An Anthony Joshua again? I don't know, guys. It's so exciting, man. I just can't wait, man. I'm gonna be making more videos, guys. Please smash the like button, guys. If you enjoy my video, guys, subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Peace! We want a ball and get lost It's something that she like to do We want a ball and get lost